Hi, my name is Tom Semmelbeck and I serve as the Associate Pastor of the Springs. Right now I'm with Dave Liss, a good friend of mine as well as a leader of our men's ministry. And I want to ask Dave a few questions to, so that you can be encouraged to become a part of men's fraternity. So Dave, what is men's fraternity? Well Tom, men's fraternity is just the name that we give to our men's ministry here at the Springs. And it says in the Bible that iron needs to sharpen iron and this is where it starts. Mm -hmm. So, who should attend? Well, first off, it is not just for men of the Springs. Mm -hmm. It is for all men. And it doesn't matter whether they're saved, unsaved, good, bad. What I consider to be the roller coaster of life, meaning whether I'm really close to God mm -hmm. at this point in time or whether I feel far away, it's for all men. Mm -hmm. You know, Dave, and I really agree with that. And I think it's really important for men to understand that the essential part of this isn't that God's design is to make us nicer men, but it's God's design for us to be followers of Him, which looks so differently from one man to the next. So that being said, Dave, why should men consider coming? Well, you know, that's one question that men are going to ask themselves. We are so busy yeah. with everything that's going on in life. We tend to overcommit ourselves, and so when something comes up like this, we have to ask ourselves, why is that going to be a priority? What's in it for me? So what is in it for us? And how I would answer that question is, is that there are so many things that we do in life, but is or are the things that we're doing in life for the purpose that God's put us here? Mm -hmm. Or are they just to live through the malaise of life? Um, I think of this typical stereotype of a man nowadays. Now, a funny thing about a stereotype, Tom, is that there's either in, in part or in whole truth yep. to it. And how many of us men really are the Ray Romanos of our family? Mm -hmm. you know? and so the media uh, many times and sitcoms will portray men as kind of the doofus of the family. But the thing is, is that we do two things really well. We provide and we protect. Mm -hmm. But is that all we do? And that's not, God doesn't just call us to do that. He it calls us to be engaged with our families, engaged with our wives and, or mm -hmm. girlfriends if you're not married. And there is actually a purpose for men. And so often we do some of the little things very well, but we do some of the other things only fairly well, if well at all. We need to engage in accepting the responsibility that God has given us to lead in our families. And not just to lead, but lead courageously. Mm -hmm. And so often we're very passive in that, and we need to take an active role. And not only with our families, but also with friends, uh, with our kids and so forth. And we need to invest in them and, and invest internally. And so uh, with that being said, men need to come together. And it doesn't matter what stage of life that they're at. Because it doesn't matter if they're really in, a, in an area of struggle right now, mm -hmm. if they're far away from Christ, or maybe they don't know Christ at all. All the way to, hey, I'm doing okay. Or I feel like I've maybe the older folks... Uh, and older men have said, I've been through a lot already, and I, I know I've seen God work in my life. We need those men to help mentor yeah. these men. And so it's really bringing all of these different kinds of men together to create a support system. We can't do it alone. If men believe that they can do it on their own, that is a fallacy, fallacy and a facade uh, that they're living because Satan will pick them off one by one. And so we have a men's fraternity that's going to bring guys together, and it should be a priority that they put in their life so that they can be equipped to know how to handle things and use the experiences of other men and be able to use their experiences for others so that we can all as one body know our purpose and act it out. Mm -hmm. And you know, Dave, I really agree with that. And what men need to understand is, is that God's not calling us to perfection. He is calling us to join Him in an authentic relationship with Him, which translates into being a different man at home, being a different man at work. But without all the ought to's and should's, it's a response to God's work in their life as well as God's design for their life. And you know, Dave, I was wanted to ask you, you, you and I have been involved in ministry, men's fraternity for years. How have you seen God use that in your life? Boy, I tell you, Tom, when I'm involved in men's ministry, I, I'm kind of a different guy at home because I am being reminded weekly and I'm, I'm accountable to other guys as to how I'm living my life. And when we're not in men's ministry and, you know, when it's, when it's a break over, I, I tend to start pulling back to my old ways. And that's mm -hmm. just our nature. Uh, so when, when I'm involved... 
I'm able to see God working through me. I'm in the Word more. I'm praying more. I'm a better husband to my wife. I'm a better father to my kids. I'm a better friend to my friends. And I'm a better boss at work. Mm -hmm. When I tend to be, when it's just me, that's where the problems start. Well, you know, and isn't that the truth? I mean, it's always dangerous to swim alone. And so Absolutely. swimming alone can get us into a lot of trouble. Men can see that as a weakness when in fact it's not. It's the realization that we need other men who can encourage and support us, but also who God can work through us to encourage and support. So Dave, that being said, what does men's fraternity look like this fall? Well, Tom, um, no offense to the women, because mm -hmm. they just had their kickoff for women's ministry. But this is not going to be any puff pastries and stuff from the aviary Great. or some salad feed. Whew, that's a relief. We are going to have a pizza feast. Uh -huh. And we need men to consume pizza for our rally. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the kickoff. Yeah. And the kickoff will be on September 21st, 630 to 8. And as will all of our uh, men's friends for the next seven weeks will be from 630 to 8 on Wednesday nights. Okay. Now, we actually have kind of a cafeteria plan. We're going to have four different options uh, that you can attend one of any one of these uh, over that seven-week period. First is a man and his design. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to be a biblical man? Uh, what is our purpose? What, not the rainbow man, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about what does it really mean to live out God's purpose as a man, uh, and what does that look like in our life? Real application. Uh, another one's going to be a man and his traps. We know that we all can get trapped. Mm -hmm. uh, with different things. We can get out of balance with work. Mm -hmm. We can get out of, out of balance with working out. We can get out of balance with sports or gaming. Uh, yeah. A lot of different things. Some men, drugs and alcohol mm -hmm. is a big one. And then for other men, uh, porn mm -hmm. could be another one. And so what are those traps in real life application for how do we deal with those? And, and uh, again, men working together to say, how does what does this look like? And, and accountability to that as well. Yeah. And then finally, uh, our in that series, A Man and His Marriage. Mm -hmm. And there is no relationship that is more important other than our relationship with Christ than a man and his wife. Yeah, and so true. what what does that relationship look like and how do we work on our marriage? Uh, beyond that, we are going to offer uh, Every Man a Warrior, mm -hmm. which is a real training session, an equipping session of how men get into Scripture and how we actually look at God's Word and we can dig into it and really get out of it what it is that uh, mm. God's saying. So again, that's going to be on Wednesday nights from 6.30 to 8. We start on the 21st with our big rally, and then we go for eight weeks uh, after that. Great. So how can guys get plugged in? How can they become a part of this? Actually, uh, they can come by our table if they're here at church. And again, I said this isn't just for people here at the Springs. So please feel free to contact Tom or myself. Um, my phone number and email address are on the screen. So if uh, you just want to contact me, I'd be happy to take a text, an email, phone call, anything. I just want to get men here. If you have questions, I'm happy to answer and just uh, have a good conversation with you. Well, we hope to see you guys there. It's a great investment. It's an investment in yourself. It's an investment in the lives of those people uh, who you are living with, be it your spouse, your kids, your co-workers, all that kind of thing. It is important. I hope that you choose to make this investment. It's been significant for me since over the last 14 years I've been involved in this kind of training. And over and over again, I'm reminded of God's design and appreciative of the encouragement I've received from other men who are along in the journey. So I hope to see you there. I'm Tom Semmelbeck. And I'm David Liss. And we're hoping to see you on Wednesday nights at 6.30 at Men's Fraternity.